Listen, I have to start with the most important question up front. Um, when did you decide that you would only play race car drivers? <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I didn't. <laughs> it was just a huge coincidence. Yeah, I mean, well, what's interesting is these are both incredible people, incredible stories. And I mean, you can't say no to either role, but like it is weird. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, it happened almost simultaneously. I did the, the, the tape for Ferrari, I did probably July or June, end of June, and I got the part, and I did the Santa tape July, and I got the part, I, I, got, I heard the news when I was there in Modena prepping for Ferrari. So it, was, it happened simultaneously, I, I knew that I would be playing racing drivers for more than a year and a half. Right. Uh, jumping into Ferrari, you're playing someone who is obviously you're, you're playing a real person. So as an actor, how much are you like in the preparation process trying to learn everything you can? But at the same time, you know, this is like um, uh, it's not a literal translation. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. And because the movie wasn't about him, of course. So and uh, we didn't have much uh, information about the Portago. I did. Me and Michael, we did the most we could uh, to research, to, to find information about him. I found this book, I found this old vinyl of him giving an interview, we had the photos. Um, but most of all, uh, Michael wanted me to find his personality. He was a playboy of his time. He was also a sportsman, he was a noble. He was a marquee from Spain. So that's what we looked for uh, during prep was to find this energy. Uh, and also there was like a mention to, to Brando style and energy. So I did some research, of course, we watch it, some early Brando mo Brando's movies. So that was it. I am a huge Michael Mann fan. I would imagine you are as well. What surprised you about working with him that you didn't expect going in? For me, it was kind of a dream. I've also, I've always been a f huge fan of him too, of his movies. And to have the first experience out of Brazil, shooting, acting in English, to be directed by him, and I mean, to be on scene with Adam was unbelievable for me. I learned so much from them. And I have a, a cool story with Michael. Um, my dad watched it last of all the Mohicans with me when I was a kid. And the first time my dad went to Europe was last year in Italy. I took him to the set, he visited the set, he watched it, Michael directing me, and then I introduced themselves, and it was like a full circle for me. Um, a pretty an amazing moment I have. So I'm very thankful for Michael for, for it all. Not, all. not only for the opportunity to be on this movie, but I mean, to have, to have the, the whole experience. Yeah, I can't even imagine. Um, I'm definitely curious, you, so you're filming the racing scenes in this, and obviously you filmed racing scenes in Senna. Um, did I pronounce that right, Senna? Senna, perfectly. Okay, just making sure. How do the um, racing scenes in both projects, how are they similar and how were they different? On Ferrari, Michael wanted us to, we shot all the scenes on the real track, like, some of them, some of them, I was driving. Some of them, I was uh, on the camera, camera car. Um, uh, on Senna, we've been, we had also the stunt drivers that shot. We had like a performance unity shooting uh, separately from us, and we used uh, LED studio oh, to, sure. to shoot all of the close-ups because we had like loads. It's a six-episode series for Netflix, so we have loads of. of of uh, racing scenes since his early years for Formula Four, uh, Formula Three to Formula One. Um, so that's the, the difference between both projects. Michael really shot on the real track, most of it, and Senna would use for the close-ups uh, the LED studio. Yeah, I don't think, and I know I have to go, but I don't think people realize how big of a star he is in Brazil and to, to the racing community. For people that don't know, I mean, he's the Brad Pitt. Kind of, yeah. I'd say he's even more because he's a, 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 one of the biggest, if not the biggest idol from Brazil, not only for, from sport. It's like... Uh, for any Brazilian Senna, it's like a, yeah, it's our biggest idol, I'd say. Thank you so much. Congrats you. on this. Looking forward to talking to you again when I've seen the series. Thank you.